Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we were healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Okay, where do you think that's uh, found? Where's that, where's that text? In the Bible. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's right. Probably the Bible. Yeah, Probably yeah. the Bible? Okay. Sounds, like, someone in sounds the Bible. like it might be from the Bible. Sounds yeah. like it's from the Bible. Okay. I'm not sure. I, I think if, if you're asking, then it probably it seems that the Bible would be in sort of the, the simplest, which probably may not be the correct one. I, I feel. I don't know. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel the fact that you ask makes it like a trick question that it's probably from another source. Obviously, had rhetoric about Jesus Christ, right? He's the Christian God, so it's probably a Christianity. Okay, cool. Do you think it's the Old Testament or New Testament? Mm, New Testament, because Jesus was in the New Testament. New. New Testament, all right. So it seemed like it was New too, uh, it was, it seemed like you, you would have to have hindsight to be that accurate. I think it's new. Uh, New Testament. New Testament, because it's talking about Jesus? Yeah. Cool. It sounds like an Old Testament thing. Probably Old Testament. Old Testament? Yeah. Okay, good. And um, who do you think it's talking about? Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. No, wait, well, in the Old Testament, they don't really know about Jesus, so I guess he, I guess God himself. No, but it was like, he, he died for us. Oh, wait, is it really? Yeah. It, so, it's, so it's Jesus. Oh, so maybe talking about the Messiah coming. Yes. Wouldn't it be New Testament then? Yeah, New Testament. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, New Testament. That. Yeah. New Testament. So now you're thinking the New Testament instead of the Old Testament? Uh, the, new, the, the, the New Testament, most likely. Now, Raleigh, would you be impressed to know that it was actually written 700 years before Christ was born? The <gasps> really? prophet Isaiah wrote it. It's Isaiah 53, 6 through like 8 or 9. Isn't that kind of impressive? Oh, cool! Is that kind of trippy? Yeah, for sure. Would you be surprised or impressed to know that it was written actually 700 years before Christ was born? Um, you know what? I don't really know that much about the Bible, man. I studied when I got confirmed, but then uh, after that I was just like, you know, this is kind of an ancient text. I might take a course that's interesting, but, you know, I but just you, haven't really looked at it. Well, fair enough, but uh, you you said you think it's, it's talking about Jesus, right? Uh, dude, I didn't even listen to it, to be honest. Is that kind of impressive? Uh, they, I mean... Yes, but you don't want it to be, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's impressive, yeah. Okay. His own father poured his wrath on him, which is which is the pain of, of hell and punishment. Then three days later, he rose to prove that he had the power of resurrection. And 2,000 years ago, uh, we're still talking about the fact that he resurrected. I would like you to you know, really consider revisiting your childhood faith. Does that make sense? For sure. Repent and trust what Christ did on the cross. Okay. Thanks, dude. Nice to meet you. All right, two things you got to do to be saved. What were they? Repent and trust what Christ did on the cross. Exactly. All right, Andre.